Hello guys, welcome again. Here we will see how to export buy sell signal based on support and resistance with help of peak high low value. Pre requisite or please take latest trading logic code from this GitHub link for peak high and low. The logic is find in this wiki page. Then this is the continuity of my previous video. So please. Um, go through the previous video for continuity then for visual studio code setup we can refer this link then suppose if you are going to this coding in that mobile then we can refer this google collapse video for set up that code in the browser itself then we can run it from our mobile here in visual studio code this is our main entry file for executing the logic you can download this code from that github repository which i shared in the pre-requested also i will share in that video description in previous video we seen the signal export based on trend this is continuity for that one here we amended nest export signal based on support and resistance also i added two more lines in my previous code here for checking that null suppose in that input file if it have any invalid stock name means it will skip that stock name here let's see that input files the input files are exist in google drive this is the credential file for connecting the google sheet by creating service account in google for set up the service account in google please refer my previous videos i will share in the descriptions here in the google drive we can see two files the stock list and the trading list sheet the stock list is a input so suppose here we mention any invalid name means in code i am validated if it is invalid then it will skip that records that's a change i made from the previous code let's see in the code okay let's move on that logic for exporting buy and signal based on support and resistance with help of peak high value this is the method we implemented this is the logic i will explain this logic in the picture here we are seeing the chart for tata motors limited here i marked like h1 h2 l1 l2 that's all peak high and low and s1 s2 r1 r2 r3 that's our resistance and support let's okay let's see the logic the logic is first check the latest support resistance level if it is resistance level the last level is resistance then the current price is less than last resistance then it's a sell suppose the last level is support then check the latest price if it is greater than the last support price then it's a buy signal let's see again in the code same thing we implemented in the code if the last level is support then check the latest price is greater than the support high price if it is high then it's a buy signal if the last level is resistance then the latest price is less than the last resistance level low price then it's a sell this is the logic also i updated the logic in that wiki page in that github here this is the wiki page you can go to this wiki page by go to that repo first then click that wiki tab then you can see some wiki pages here let's go to peak high and low here you can see the last the logic for export buy and signal based on support and resistance with peak high low here i updated the logic you can find here also the picture you can find here let's move on code okay let's execute this code by right clicking and click run python file in terminal exporting yeah now it's finished let's check in that output file in google sheet this is that input let's see that output file trading list yeah it's updated here the tools we are implemented bollinger band trend and support and resistance this support and resistance 
we implemented recently then here that input file is have two stocks name so it's imported the two stocks then based on that support and resistance for tata motors it's a sell signal for tata steel it's retaining buy signal for support and resistance let's verify some data let's check that uh, tata motors for bollinger band it's a sell signal based on that bollinger band 2008 0808 so let's check yeah here the based on that uh, here the price is go beyond that upper band that means that upper line means it's a high price so it's reach that upper price so based on that it's a sell signal so here it's written the sell then based on trend it's also it's a sell signal let's check the trend here it's it's a downwards so for based on the trend also it's a sell signal then let's check the support and resistance based on the support and resistance also it's a sell signal yeah here see this is at as a resistance the current price is less than the latest resistance level so it's also sell signal so it's written the sell signal i will share these links in the descriptions yeah thank you see you again bye